the teams are out and we are set. It's the Flyers against the Phoenix and we are underway. Was a big I fat think it donor. was all four of them. I think it was all four of them. All big nobody, fat donor. No, nobody will be able to check it. Here's uh, Chagua through the contact and one. He's going to the line. Adeline down low against Brad. Brad strong now. 6 11, Brad. And just get, but you're right. It's a tough position under the basket. Well, the same pass there, but this time it's Johnson absolutely wiped away. But it falls straight to Green. Cheshire do get it at the second attempt. Here's Rye. Rye kind of stuck there. Bristol looking to run. It's Bradley. Oh, my goodness. Levi Bradley through the block for the score. Managed to get through that defense. Jack in the corner knocks it down. That's his favorite spot. I'm a fan of Jack. I think he's just played a really solid, consistent season as Rye steals that ball. What a great pass is Rideau staring down the three. Holding out in front is Jack, checks his feet. That's one three. Told you, he finds his way somehow. <laughs> Holden's going to fire up the three, and that's going to hit the bottom of the net as well. And Cheshire have an 11 point lead. And he's feeling good as he ran back, and he knew that was in. And uh, Bristol, right now, Dan, just need to lock in. They need to get something easy. Need to get something. Here's Thomas Edwards for three. They needed that. Christian's able to come up with it. Christian has his pocket pick. Great steal by Johnson. Jacob's going to fire one up. He got caught. Knocks it down. No foul caught. I thought he got hit on the arm. Yeah, man. I thought she caught a foul too. Where Keedy Johnson finding Jacob might have got caught. Running the clock down. Can't go all the way to the buzzer. Can get pretty close to it. Johnson has the switch. He's going to fire up the three. Back-to-back -back threes for the Flyers. He were three. And then Johnson himself. Adds another three. If I get a vote, if I can, you know, speak to the right people, I would have a really difficult time because those two guys, Matt Morgan and Aaron Rye, have been sensational this season. Nice uh, move there from Smith. Two bodies, they're doubling Aaron Rye, making it difficult for him to score. Thrown away, straight to the hands of White. Christian all the way to the rim, lays it in. White on the trail, knocks down the triple. First shot of the game for Skylar White, and it's good for three. On the move, and Skylar White, he only needs an inch. Yeah. And he's going to make you pay. No, I didn't. I, I don't grew know up what with no three-point line, is that <laughs> okay. I remember the three-point line coming in. Here's Skylar White, who loves the three-point line, knocks down another. Aww. Also live streaming the whole thing to the parents that couldn't make it. <laughs> OK. But this one goes in, you're in trouble. And uh, number two and number three were not far behind for Skylar White. He's got a steal here as well behind the back to Rideau. What a play from the Cheshire Phoenix. He leads the league in steals. And that one up. So it's 94 steals. He leaves Lucas on the floor. And he hits the three. That's the highlight play. Cut that one up. Put that in for sure. 110 right now, aren't they? Right. Olison. Spinning into the key. Lovely soft touch at the end of it. Indeed. Alan Cunningham and Colin Irish. Steve Nelson, Luke's dad, was on that team as well. Skylar White again for three. I told you that. A good last minute here. It's in danger of getting away from them. That's what they needed. What a shot. When they need it, there's Tevin Ollison. Yeah, Ollison, but also it was Brad Green keeping that possession alive. Right. It's a bit too easy, isn't it? Easy. He knows it. Um, and I really like that he's set all these goals and he's really achieving them. He has, yeah. As you mentioned earlier, lead the league in uh, assists per game and, and steals. steals per game. And Chagua making up for lost time. Will be the underdogs if they were to play London again. They will. They were the underdogs Why? in Why? the final. 
Why would they just be the underdogs? Because, just because it's one seed against two. Nice finish through the thing. And because of the, you know, budget differential. Battle of the defensive rebounds when these two teams met. Which one can take control? Keep the team to one shot. Oh, nice move. And jammed in by Raph Thomas Edwards. Okay, Thomas Edwards. Holden gets his man in the air, gets him beat. Smith did enough. Oh my goodness, what a finish. Back to the starters for Ben Thomas and the Knicks. Here's Smith looking for another three and finding another three. And suddenly it's a five point game. In seven and a half minutes time. Shaw boys passes deflected. Bristol have got another steal. Johnson driving hard to the hole. He finishes and has got the lead down to one. Cheshire led by as many as 20. Well, you give him a point for each one of those, it's probably a tight game. Here's Rideau slowing it down and throwing it in, and that's the difference. What could have been a two-point game is a seven-point game. Blocked! Oh, and it came off Rideau on the way out. What a defensive play by Jacob. Rideau trying to make it a two possession game in the final two minutes. Lobbed, nice catch and great finish from Cam Holden. Rideau has it, late shot clock situation. Driving in, White, big shot for three. Skyler White in the corner with a huge three to double the lead. Amazing, just calm, cool, collected in the corner. Olison, will he get the bounce? He will. Him back out on the court, but yeah. Skylar White, what a shot. And then but here's Olison with the quick reply. Time was of the essence there for Olison. Running it down into single figures. Round the screen he goes. Back to White. White can't create some room, gets the shot off. And he My goodness, are you kidding me, Skylar White? Yes. Look at this. And then he realized he didn't need any room. Olison is right there next to him. Goes up. You'd rather make, and he does make. So Coach Kapoulis is going to call a timeout. 